Big dust up over a controversial climate bill in Oregon. The Democratic governor there is sending the state police to round up Republican lawmakers who deserted the Capitol hoping to block the measure. Dan Springer's trying to figure this out. Salem, Oregon, he's live. Dan, what's happening? Yeah, Bill, this is extraordinary. Right now at this hour, you have Oregon State Patrol officers out there pounding the pavement looking for Republican senators so they could haul them back to the Capitol here in Salem so there can be a vote on this sweeping cap-and-trade bill. The original vote was scheduled for yesterday, but the Republicans were a no-show. The Senate needs at least two Republicans to have a quorum, so the Democratic leadership, which is in the majority, asked the Democratic governor if she would order the state patrol to assist the sergeant-at-arms in finding enough Republicans so a vote can be taken. In our, uh, in our country, we go by the rule of law, and in our legislative process, if you don't like a bill, you build up support and kill the bill. You don't walk out. The Republican offices were empty yesterday. I'm told all of the 11 senators are in hiding outside of Oregon. They plan on running out the clock in this legislative session, which ends June 30th. I spoke with one who was in hiding in Idaho. We do our jobs best when we represent our constituents best, and that means doing everything in our power to keep them from being irreparably damaged, which this bill will do. Republicans say the cap-and-trade law will decimate rural and lower-income Oregonians by instantly raising gas prices 22 cents a gallon and a lot more as time goes by. One GOP senator described his caucus as, quote, freedom fighters, but their personal freedom is in the hands of the state patrol, which is working with law enforcement in other states. Officials won't comment on how many troopers are involved, but did respond when asked if they would arrest and handcuff the lawmakers. A spokesman, a spokesman said, quote, the OSP will go to great lengths to avoid this scenario and no physical contact is permitted absent the permission of the superintendent of OSP. Today's session begins in just a few minutes. I am told by a Republican staffer that no Republican senator has been located by the state patrol. So it will be the same situation as yesterday. Those senators will be fined 500 bucks a day by the Senate. And, of course, there's been a GoFundMe page set up to help them pay for their fines. Uh, what, what a strange story. Dan Springer, thank you from Salem, Oregon. Thanks.